Good morning, Singapore, and welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV, Monday's edition. And every Monday, we're joined by the one, the only, the beautiful, the gorgeous, the very fit, Natalie Dow, Rockstar Arms. Good morning, Nat. (laughs) Oh. Of course, we're so thankful that that uh, you join us every Monday, Natalie. So thank you very much on behalf of all the fans uh, who are tuned in as well. Um, and Monday is perfect to have you on the show, like I always say, because uh, you know we overindulge over the weekend. So uh, you know, just working out with you a couple of sets makes all the difference in the world. You know. That's the best kind of weekend, huh? It is. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of which, I did my first body combat a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think I messaged you and asked you if you were going. And you said you hated body combat. So <laughs> I, I did it, but now I understand why you hated it. <laughs> it's but tough. Why? <laughs> Not at all. It's okay. We'll do our own stuff, huh? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Always can. Easy, easy. <laughs> you sound a little bit sore. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I was just thinking, right? I mean, fitness is so important, especially during this time. I, we can't emphasize it, you know, enough. Uh, because, I mean, if you look around, right, it's, it's the really fit people, even athletes around the world, right? Even though they've come down with COVID-19, they, they've been asymptomatic, they haven't uh, uh, had it very severe. You know, take Cristiano Ronaldo, for example. He's had COVID-19 twice. Yes, you know what I mean? So, you know, I think for, 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 for the people who have already started to take care of their health, you know, good on you. For the people who haven't started, I think, uh, you know, everyone should start. Because uh, the healthier you are, you know, the, the, the better, better you are in terms of like, um, you know, in, 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 in being uh, 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 more resilient, you know, to, to this disease. Yeah. You know, vitamin D has been proven to be great against the fight, and it's building that lung capacity because that's what's, uh, you know, the, the skin is 
scary thing is the breathing. So, mm. so you know, even a, a brisk walk is fantastic. Mm. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's work out with Natalie live on the Big Show TV. In the meantime, we are recapping the top ten songs on One FM ninety one point three's greatest hits of all time countdown. Here's song number six, November Rain, Guns and Roses. Be, 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 be. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can do an eight minute workout. <laughs> He's like, he's excited now. I just want to do the plyo, the plyo and maybe. Yeah. Fly. This bench is perfect, man. Okay, oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Man. Especially for my problem knee, my left side. Oh yeah, for people who have like bad knees, oh. is this like? Right. Your quads. Right. Regular one. 
like clubs and um, push-ups and things, then you, it's just practice mm. eventually. And if you stop doing it, you lose it as well. So keep going. Consistency. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I forgot to bring my mat. Yep. Oh, <laughs> where's our mat? <laughs> yeah. So if this is too hard, which it can be for some people, just even hold the position um, to engage your core. Otherwise, let's bring those knees in and keep it moving. Halfway there. So leaning back and bringing it forward. This one really is a, a great ab blaster. Right. Yeah. <laughs> a few more seconds. It. Three, two, one. But good on you. Go. For someone who said he didn't want to work out today, you're yeah. putting some effort in. Well done. <laughs> yes, I think it was on this it one. exactly what I was going to say. It's the <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> got the strength. <laughs> Woo yeah, that was some sweating. <laughs> good job. How were the leg lifts? The plyo leg lifts. It's good. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to do that uh, when I get home later this evening when I work out. Nice. Uh, so, Nat, I mean, you've spoken about all the, the, the physical concepts and fitness concepts that, uh, that have opened up in Singapore. What about, like, mental health platforms? Yeah, you know, they're, they're really going through the roof here at the moment. So there's a really good one called Safe Space, which is launched, which is a virtual therapy platform. Mm. Um, so it's sort of aiming to close the mental illness treatment gap in Singapore. So there's virtual therapy with trained counsellors. So mm. we've seen that happen overseas, but there's nothing really that's happened uh, in Singapore to date. Yeah. Um, and, of course, last week, the Apple 7 watch launched um, and their mindfulness uh, app on that is really changing the game so it used to just be the breathe app now it's um, one called reflect so you've actually got visuals to keep you engaged for a minute to take that time out that it gives you a quote at the end you know something around being kind to yourself or taking time out and okay hold on, that. Oh, we'll on there yep. no worries Here we going go. back on air you can ask it again Number six on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. We're recapping this morning. November Rain by Guns N' Roses. Good morning, Singapore. Welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Our guest for this morning is Rockstar Arms, Natalie Dow. What a great first set we just Ooh. did. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you need to get some movement in, uh, just tune in to us uh, on our Facebook page, 1FM 913. And Natalie is going to work out for us second time in a couple of minutes and you yeah. can join in then as well please join us yeah <laughs> the more the merrier so Natalie, today we're talking about like new fitness concepts that have opened up in Singapore uh, over the past few months. Uh, you mentioned quite a few like Superfly. What about uh, things like mental health platforms uh, and things about mindfulness and taking care of our mental health? Have you seen anything new? Yeah, that's so important. Yeah. Yeah, so we were saying, you know, the Apple 7 Watch launched last week um, and they've really changed how they approach mental wellness uh, via their app. So Breathe is still on there, but they've added a couple of new ones, which is Reflect. So it's an animation, a one-minute animation that 
you watch uh, to think about how you feel and there's a quote to take away at the end. Um, and then there's mindful minutes reflection, which is, you know, mind, body, heart connection. So, you know, they're trying to change the game with just these one minute things during the day. So it's not overwhelming and it measures those, those minutes, how many you've done a day. Um, and then for people that want to go a bit deeper, there's somewhere like Safe, Safe Space, um, which is a virtual therapy platform in Singapore. So matching you virtually with a counsellor if you're not comfortable going in in person. So it's really good to see those things popping up in Singapore now. Mm. Mm. Just going back a bit, you were talking about these one minute things on the Apple Watch. So basically you focus on the screen on the watch. Is that what it is? <laughs> Yeah, that is. And it's got some great animations. It's sort of just, you know, I think if you're looking at something, you can't be reading your emails while you're listening to a one minute meditation. Yeah. So it's, it's really just trying to get your attention for that one minute um, and be present. And then off you go and do your the rest of your day. Um, mm. So I think that that's really good adding that that visualization just as well as you know the the sound too oh, animation, just the t animation, animation on the on, on the watch but the watch, the watch. So yeah. like, i can just picture myself going like that <laughs> <laughs> But I guess I guess on. the idea is just to is just to help you focus on one thing at a time you know because we're we're bombarded by so many different uh, distractions and to be able to just look at one small even though it's a very small screen uh it is teaching you to focus for one minute on one thing absolutely and then leaves you with a, a positive reflection at the end of it like you know be kinder to yourself or mm. you know whatever it is so you feel good about yourself after that one minute i mean you can do it on the bus you can do it anywhere yeah. so that's the yeah. beauty of it yeah. Fantastic. You know, Nat, let's talk about uh, healthy eating as well because uh, this is a major problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, are there any good local brands to look out for when it comes to healthy eating? Yeah, but you know what? There's a lot of great ones popping up. Um, one that I love is called Rees, which is clean chili sauces. So, you oh. know, we, oh. we all, yeah, we always are adding sauce to everything and normally it's full of preservatives and sugar, whereas... This one is, you know, vegan, paleo, and only real ingredients. So, you know, if you really like to add flavor, Reese is great. How um, do you spell that? R I apostrophe S. Oh, Reese. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, for, if you've got kids, Fuss Pot and Foodie is fantastic. <laughs> Fuss Pot you know, and foodie. Yeah, Fuss they pot. do uh, mini pizzas and meatballs that are healthy for kids. So if, you know, rather than getting takeaway, you know, they do some great products. Um, and the favourite of mine, because it's so good for you, is kimchi. And there's a great one called oh. Wanting Kimchi. Uh, so this is the low salt, low sugar. You can even... Um, Choose the flavour of the kimchi that you want. So if you want it fruity or floral or fire. Um, so another great one that's putting a spin on healthy food and making it even more healthy. Oh, that's oh, great. Nice. I love kimchi, man. It's great for the yeah. digestive system, right? It is, yeah. Very nice, very nice. Okay, uh, we're all set to work out with Nat. Set number two up next, uh, but we also continue recapping 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown uh, up to song number five right now. This is Bon Jovi living on a prayer on 1FM 91.3. And we're back. You've got me looking at a uh, Reese. Yeah. <laughs> Reese. Fastbot. I, I like Fastbot. Fastbot. That's such a cute name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're all yeah, Fastbots. All the Fastbots. Yeah. <laughs> there's there is some really great local brands, which is fantastic. Yeah. All right, guys. Back to those plyos. Let's get ready. We're going to go in five seconds. Start with our right foot planted. Okay. Let's go. This time, if you didn't go as high, try uh, kicking that leg back a bit more or adding another step. Adding another step? Oh, if you're on a low step. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like so high, are you, where you want to go? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm not going any higher. I'm not tall Into enough. Into your neighbor's house. And <laughs> <laughs> like a gopher, you come up from the floor. <laughs> I can see down to my neighbors there. Oh. <laughs> Good job, guys. Five seconds left. Oh, feeding it in my glutes. Yeah. Glute, oh, glutes as well. Oh, all right. Yeah, Butchie. definitely glutes. Yeah, glutes and thighs, definitely. All right, rest it up. You can add a little, like, a uh, calf raise. <laughs> at the top? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just don't lose your balance and fall forward. <laughs> okay. Three, 
two, one. Let's go again, other leg. If you want to do this with like weights, do I yeah, put you can. In, in front of me or do I hold it in by my side? I would be holding it just sort of near shoulders. Oh, yeah, no, no. or you can hold it this side, okay. but it's pulling you down on the side. So yeah. I think for balance, mm. it's better in front almost. So just hold one, potentially a dumbbell or something in front like that. Okay. Mm. Sean is working out in his mind. I can, I, 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 yeah. you can see the focus. <laughs> so it's called mental reps. He's going to work out for real <laughs> at noon today. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Last one, guys. Good job. All right, shake it out. Visual, we got those visualization. Yeah. I don't know how this guy does multiple spin classes on it. Oh, oh I my don't God. know either. She's You're a my beast. Video, so. I tried like... Like doing one class with him, I was like, oh my goodness. I know, yeah. the, e the energy is insane. Yeah. I lasted yeah. all of 10 minutes. So. Ten minutes like, <laughs> Very good, yes. He's yes. talking. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah, you've got to spin hard. It's not like the instructors don't do the, the class. You know, you know, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that's why. We're yeah. not like yoga instructors just walking around telling you to like, <laughs> lie down and... This one makes straighter. There you go. You, <laughs> have, you <laughs> get to diss them off, right? Uh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> All your yoga friends are listening in now. Oh, some vasana <laughs> themselves. <laughs> All right, guys. A few more seconds. Keep that belly tucked in, nice and strong. Okay. Good job. All right. We are on the ground for those hip raises. Hip raises. Get, re get ready for those. <sighs> Hamstrings to work. Ooh, okay, wait, I got a perfect music for this one. <laughs> <laughs> Careless whisper. <laughs> Sexy hip raises, let's go. <laughs> now Natalie's shy, she's like, I don't want a hip raise. Yeah. Uh, That's how you got two kids already. <laughs> yeah. Only one. Ooh, one. Oh, one, one, one. Sorry. Maybe, maybe two after this. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, man. <laughs> As long as Matt is watching, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job, guys. Hamstrings are something that we don't work a lot of the time, so this is a really good one for that. Hang in there. Ooh, slow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Oh, done on the hip now the abs, not done yet. Mm -hmm. The abs. The abs. We got the abs. Oh, abs, abs, abs. Abs. One more. Yeah. One more, Glenn. Okay. <laughs> we got one more song, and we can do it one more round. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Last forty seconds. Good job, guys. Hang in there. Oh, 20 seconds, halfway there. That's it. Let's go, a couple more. Five seconds left. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. And another five Woo! seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh. Well done, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Catching the breath now. Yeah, that was hot. Yeah. Yes, you are. How long do we have, John? Uh, three minutes. Okay. So, Nat, I mean, there are a lot of people that don't work out, let's be honest. <laughs> a lot of people that like to watch other people work out and get tired doing it. Uh, are there any sporting events coming up? There are. There's a, quite a few things coming up, which is exciting. Um, so December 1 and 2, we've got Fit Summit, and that is actually an, a hybrid event. So in person at Raffles City and also online. Um, so that's sort of Asia Pacific's fitness community coming together to, to share what's happening in the industry. Um, so super exciting. I'm even more excited that Rugby Sevens will be back. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. April 2022. Uh, I think it's April 9 and 10. So mm. that was announced last week, which is, uh, which is great. Um, and then, you know, from a, a local athlete point of view, 
We've got the Sea Games. We've got mm. Asian Games coming up. We've got the Commonwealth Games. Um, and, of course, the Winter Olympics in February. So there's a lot of great viewing for sports that uh, that's on the agenda. Yeah, yeah, speaking of which, some great news for the Paralympics over the over the weekend. Yes. Uh, she got her prize money doubled because oh. DBS came on as a yeah. sponsor. Oh, yeah, that's smart. Yeah, I think there was a lot of hoo ha about why she was, why they were getting a lot less than the uh, able bodied um, athletes at the at the Olympics. Yeah. So DBS came on board and sponsored. You can so always that was depend great. on DBS. Yeah, well done, DBS. To the yeah. local bank. We love you. <laughs> yeah. You know, and and it's great. You know, it's she's so inspirational. So it's mm. fantastic that that's being recognised, and and that whole topic has just raised the profile of uh, Paralympic Olympics. sports. Yeah. So yes, it's great. for sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really well done. Awesome. And of course, uh, I mean, there was also this announcement about the F1 race, right? Yes. October. Yes, Singapore is on the calendar for okay. October yeah. next year. Yeah, because um, I think the I think the contract ended this year. Yes. Correct. So, um, so there is no news yet as to whether they have renewed the contract, but just to have it on the calendar is kind yeah. of good news. Hopefully, uh, that that other news comes up soon. No, I'm just <laughs> thinking because it was a no go for the past couple of years because years. of COVID, yes. right? Yeah. The contract doesn't matter anymore. I I, I feel like. October is to make up for the two years. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if it yeah. works that way. Whether they've just extended it because the two years were non-existent. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense because it's I a mean, new contract. F1 needs us as well. You know, if not, they yeah. would have no venue. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so, and F1 is always such a fun time here oh, in Singapore. It's the yeah. best it's, weekend. Yeah, it's yeah. so <laughs> vibrant. There's so much going on. You know, I mean, roads are closed, but so what? You know, it brings it brings a whole. It's so nice to start seeing in July. All the all the lighting go up and the fencing go up and and you know that you know F one fever is about to come on yeah concerts yeah <laughs> concerts yeah <laughs> concerts yeah. as well for the music <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe I mean if they're ready we might speak to someone um, you know from oh, yeah. F one from the Formula Singapore One for GP. sure yeah, yeah to see uh, you know if if it's really going to go ahead and and as you mentioned earlier on you know about the contract and all that what's yeah. happening in that area we we'll talk wait to for someone that, yeah. yeah 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 for sure yeah yeah we do one traffic and then we go back on eh? okay okay stand by in three two one FM ninety one point three traffic. All right, um, heavy traffic is building up as it would at this time on the KPE towards the ECP right at the airport road exit, and also on the PIE heading west towards to us at the AYE exit. Wherever you are this Monday, stay safe. One FM ninety one point three. It's the Big Show and the Big Show TV on Monday. We're joined by Natalie Dow, Rockstar Arms. What a great workout, Natalie! Thank you so yeah. much for um, for working out with us. Uh, two sets, I'm. I'm all warmed up now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> now, Natalie, on the Big Show TV, we were talking about uh, sporting events that are starting to come back. Uh, what can we look forward to this year and next? Yeah, so uh, Singapore Rugby Sevens, which is one of my all-time favourites, is here 9 and 10 of April. Um, you know, this year we've got Fit Summit, December 1 and 2, in person at Raffles City, which is the best of the best. Um with all things health and fitness. And then, of course, some big, big events next year, Sea Games, Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, and those Olympic uh, Winter Olympics in February in Beijing. Wow. It's yeah. going to be a sporting year. Yeah. Fingers crossed uh, that everything goes ahead without yes. hiccups. Yeah. yeah. And as we were talking off-air uh, on the Big Show TV, we were talking about the Formula One as well. The calendar has just been released. Singapore is on it for October. So we're hoping that goes through and, and you know, things are not as fluid as they were this year and last and, and things are, you know, solidified. And yeah. that we can look forward to that next year. Yeah, bring on 2022. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I think we're I think we're about done with 2021 yeah. already. <laughs> Again. No yeah, it's about time. It's about time things get back to normal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Nat, for joining us. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome week ahead. All Bye. right. Bye. 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 Up next, song number three on One FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown recap. Here's Guns N' Roses with last year's greatest hit of all time, Sweet Child of Mine. I'm playing this song in class today. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sweet. Are you child. doing our top 10 countdown? <laughs> a bit. A bit. I did uh, It's My Life a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I did uh, Living on a Prayer. Today, I'm doing Sweet Child of Mine. Hotel Should California. Do like Hotel California, hard. like slow cycle. That, that may be for the cool down part. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Look for a DJ mix lah. I'm sure there's something. I'm sure, yeah. There. Yeah, I'm sure there's like a dance version. Some chow abing mix. Chow <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's terrible. Uh, after hearing that Natalie is going to the US, I feel like traveling now. Oh my gosh, just like the thought of right. Come to Pongo la. Pongo just wait, la. No, just, it's okay. Just wait a bit more la. Probably early, yeah. early next year. Maybe. Early next year, yeah. yeah. But the time is to book tickets now, isn't it? Yeah, S I A. The what's it called? Website crash. No. Yeah, yeah, but that was the first weekend that was announced. That was the I think uh, Korea. I think it's Korea. Also yeah. Yeah, I think that was the Korean one, but everybody going to play Squid Game over there. No. Did you read about that guy, the the one who went around on his bicycle in a full Squid Game outfit? No. And he, Singapore. And he, yeah, in Singapore, and, and it was like an original Squid Game outfit with the plastic mask, and he held a the Thera gun. Oh, Thera to gun. make it look like <laughs> massage oh, gun to make hey, it look, hey, the look at BB and the T-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. It fits well. <laughs> Good morning. Yay. Perfect. You look great. Good morning. Good morning. How are very you guys? Nice. We are good. I saw the workout. It was very intensive. <laughs> <laughs> Did you join in? Did I hit as well? <laughs> Same like me. She's like, can you not see me sweating? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all flushed. See my face? <laughs> my cheeks are rosy now. Very naturally blushed. <laughs> <laughs> How was your weekend, BB? Very good. I've uh, been busy planning uh, my trip. Uh, I'd like to also uh, stream from uh, Europe uh, when I'm there on four Sundays. Wow. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, I'll be in France, uh, Italy and Germany. So nice. Uh, and when, and when are you leaving? Uh, uh, in November, early November. Nice. Uh, and I hope to also share a little bit about some of the superfoods in the different regions uh, oh, with perfect. everybody. Uh, yeah. Love okay. it, love awesome. it, love it. Awesome. You know, it's it's so strange. I was just thinking this morning we should have some like overseas correspondence because people want to see what's happening in the rest of the world. You <laughs> yeah. know, and it's perfect that you're going and you're willing to stream for us as well. Yeah, and I was just checking the time zone. I mm. think um, we will be streaming at about 2.30 a.m. Uh, European time. Oh, okay. um, mm. And so um, only all the unhealthy food places are open. I think, <laughs> <at that time. laughs> Just but don't feel pressure to come on. Yeah. You're on holiday. Please don't feel pressure to come on. No, I would love to. Uh, and I'd like to share the things that I buy on the Sunday market uh, uh, to show everybody. I think it would be quite fun. Yeah. Oh, I think nice, be fun. nice, nice. Okay. Thank you so much for, for, Thank you, for doing it, BB. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to do so. Oh, you're going to have such a great time. So you're going to yeah. be there for a month. Yes, that's right. Beautiful. Wow. Um, see, now that she's said that as well, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to go somewhere. <laughs> like, if you go, you won't work one. <laughs> yes, cabin no, fever. I don't, I don't <laughs> well, I can, I can, I can stream from anywhere as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can actually. Yeah. You can. I can. I can be anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So, Bibi, what do you have in front of you today? Today, um, because um, this uh, mushroom was what I've selected to be our top number one food to eat. Lion's uh, mane. Yeah, lion's mushroom. They, mm. they look so like My weird. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen lion's mane mushrooms. <laughs> That's what I've it looks like. so much. It's like a lion's head. Looks like yeah. cauliflower. Yeah. Yeah. And and uh, it's it's used quite a bit uh, in vegetarian cuisine, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah, as meat. Mm -hmm. and, wow. and it, it's just a little fuzzy uh, looking uh, mushroom um, They look like white truffles actually How yeah. do you cook that? It's dried, right? So do you have to so pre-soak it? Yes, you have to okay. pre-soak it And they don't expand a lot uh, Not like, you know, white fungus Where mm. you just buy a tiny bit and pfft, it becomes so big um, So I took a small one And uh, it just looks like that After it's been rehydrated okay. Also not a lot of uh, uh, It doesn't grow that big um, And I'm going to show everyone How to make a satay Out of uh, lion mane's mushroom Ooh. So we're going to skewer this And I'm going to show everyone My very own healthier uh, satay sauce That you can make easily uh, And I think this is to also Talk a little bit about You know, meat alternatives Whether they are healthy or not and if you don't want to buy store-bought ones, you can always eat natural uh, nice. uh, mushrooms to keep wow. you all the And they're quite tough, right? Lion mean mushrooms. In uh, terms of the texture, it's uh, meaty. It's like. meaty. 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 Yeah. meaty. Uh, yes, it's like a texture of meat, actually. You're right. How long do you um, rehydrate? How long do you put it in water to rehydrate it? Because I've never cooked with um, lion's mane, so I'm very keen on getting some. 
Um, I noticed that they kind of rehydrate in seconds. an hour, uh, but I have left mine a little bit longer. Okay. Um, and I discard the water um, after I have rehydrated it. Okay. okay. We're going okay. on air, and then we'll come back again. Here we go. Chat in stand, boys, on three. Child. That's uh, song number three. <laughs> Guns and Roses. I'm so sorry. I can hear people cursing and swearing at me there. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> anyway. Sorry, did you have to spoil the song? Then? Exactly. <laughs> okay, song number three. We're recapping uh, 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. Okay, that was song number three once again. Guns and Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. All right, we have BB Cheer, our principal dietitian, uh, joining us right now on The Big Show and The Big Show TV. A very good morning to you, BB. Good morning, everybody. All right. Good morning, BB. Uh, today we're talking about plant-based meats. Um, and uh, if you are watching us on the Big Show TV, you'll know that BB has armed herself with some lion's mane mushrooms, Ooh. which look like little lion's heads. Uh, and you're you're going to tell us: Are plant-based meats healthy? Well, I think um, the interest, first of all, of uh, plant-based meat has doubled. Uh, so there is a survey asking people whether they are conscious about how much uh, meat they eat um, and if they would like to you know, hop on a more plant-based diet. The number has doubled from 2019 to 220. So the interest is definitely there. Um, I think also it's supported by the availability as well. So there are more options pe for people these days. Um, but are they really healthy? Well, it really depends. I was just looking at the nutrient analysis ingredients list some of them could actually be quite high in salt uh, saturated fat um, and I think some of them might even be too high in fiber for for some people mm. too high in fiber is that how I mean is yeah. so it's possible to have too much fiber um, especially for those who ha didn't used to have fiber in their diet, if all of a sudden uh, they eat 200 grams of uh, meat alternatives, they are having more than 30 grams of fiber in their diet, which is pretty high Or uh, for people who don't eat fiber. And all of a sudden, they may actually cause uh, constipation. So um, I would say if you want to introduce fiber, go slow and easy uh, and gradually increase the amount of fiber you eat. Oh, I okay, see. Okay. I thought too much fiber will make you go. Yeah. No, so yeah. too much fiber can, can, can cause constipation as well. Uh, yes, so uh, with the amount of extra fiber you eat, you must ensure that you drink that extra amount of water as well so that the stools are soft and so when you go to the bathroom, it's, you don't get dry, you know, stools that is, uh, you know, considered class, uh, constipation. I see. So when you're talking about these uh, plant-based meats and meat alternatives, you're actually talking about the stuff that's processed, most likely frozen, the frozen stuff, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So the meat alternatives, where it looks like meat, but it's not meat. Um, and and but I have to say, uh, we we shouldn't give up on um, looking for uh, meat alternatives because this is just the beginning uh, of you know uh, meat analogs. And I believe that we can make it healthier um, as we go. Um, also protecting the environment along the way. But you know, maybe mm -hmm. I've got this question for you, right? Because I used to go down to these uh, Chinese uh, vegetarian restaurants. All right, and one of uh, their favorite ingredients is gluten, right? To make like uh, the mock char siu and mock uh, duck and stuff like that. That's not as healthy, obviously, as uh, as lion mane's mushroom, right? Well, it is still uh, uh, processed with maybe a little bit more sodium or salt to make it uh, flavorful. But yes, you're right. So it is not extremely new that you know we're eating meat alternatives. We have done it for a long time, but maybe just a little bit too much salt, a little bit too much deep frying. Um, and so I think it is possible uh, to make meat analogs healthy or eat them in a healthy way. But yes, also we could just rely on natural sources mm. of uh, protein. Um, and I think the other question people want to ask is when we eat meat alternatives are we only looking at its protein content or are we also looking at other things that you know could be missing if we don't eat meat um, so that is a good question to ask if you want to become vegetarian or vegan uh, is to make sure you have enough of the other micronutrients okay there's so much um there's so much uh, talk about not getting enough protein when you are on a plant-based diet. When we go when we go on to the Big Show TV, I just want to find out how much protein should we be getting, and is it all just hoo-ha that you know uh, we can only get it from meats? 
That's that's a good okay. question. All right, so uh, watch us on the Big Show TV while we continue to recap 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time. Here's song number two, Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody. Bam, we're back. Is there such a thing, BB, as protein deficiency? Yes, there is, uh, especially in the elderly population, um, um, and sometimes it's um, characterized by the wastage of muscle, so they start to shrink and their calves get smaller, and this is what we call sarcopenia, and when they have that, we need to up their protein intake in order to repair those muscles. Uh, but day to day, I think people who don't plan their meals well, they could also not eat enough protein, um, and so yes, protein is an essential part of our diet, and we must make sure we get at least 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. So everybody's protein need is a little bit different. But you know, okay. I think I, maybe the reason why senior citizens tend to not consume enough protein, I feel, okay, is because they are always encouraged not to eat too much. Mm. You know, once upon a time, our, I mean, our late uh, senior minister, uh, Lee Kuan Yew, I, I remember during an interview, he says, don't eat too much. I mean, when someone asked him <laughs> for his... Uh, uh, his secret to to good health and all that. He said, don't eat too much, right? <laughs> so some people, I think, over the years have taken that, you know, very seriously. seriously. And in a mm. way, I, I, I think it's a good thing because here in Singapore, right, with all the hawker centers around, you know, it's so easy for you to eat the wrong things, mm. right? So I noticed this uh, about our senior citizens, right? They they tend to not eat so much. And as a result of that, they they lose weight, which is actually not a bad thing as well. Uh, however, uh, as we were talking about uh, protein deficiency, uh, they, they tend to lose. Well. Yeah, they tend to yeah. lose their their what do you call muscle. Uh, their muscle and all that. So, mm. what do you think? Do you think for for seniors who are watching us right now and who are uh, on a controlled diet, who are consciously, you know, not eating as much because they feel like you know maintaining, you know, a, a, a healthy weight is much more important. What do you have to say to that? Um, I do see two groups of uh, patients. One is that their appetite is generally good, uh, they are generally well, and they tend to, these group of uh, elderly, they tend to overeat. Then, oh. unfortunately, it is quite, you know, split in the middle. Then the other half of the patients I see, they are generally weaker. Um, and because of that, they have no interest in eating because they feel unwell. They might be on a lot of medication to make mm. them nauseous. Um, and they just want something like, you know, plain porridge with something salty on the side. Um, and that doesn't have a lot of nutrients. Um, and I think group B patients is harder to convince than group a, it's mm. easier to tell people, oh, don't eat too much, you know. But when we have patients who are not well, it is so difficult to convince an elderly yeah. person, please eat, mm. please eat, you gotta yeah. feed them, you know, uh, or cook it in a way where it would uh, encar- or, or it will make them want to eat a little bit more. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, so how do we ensure that we're getting enough protein if we decide to go on a plant based diet? Um, there are many, many sources. Um, so, first of all, if you are, um, um, you can digest beans. Uh, beans is a great source of protein, um, as well as other uh, micronutrients as well, from folate uh, to even iron uh, or calcium. And then uh, we also have nuts and seeds. Um, so these are quite, you know, popular choices of protein. But don't forget vegetables. You know, uh, even oatmeal, even rice has protein. Um, mm. And so there are many ways we could actually have enough protein in our diet. Mm. Okay. Show us what you're going to do then. Uh, you want to make the lion's Sate. mane uh, satay. Yes. So maybe I can introduce some of these um, ingredients to everybody first. Um, so I have lime leaves, uh, ginger, garlic. Uh, this is a really large charlotte. Uh, but yes, charlotte. Uh, lemongrass and some lime. Mm. Um, so this would be the aromatics that will give you uh, that, you know, satay, you know, that, that vagrant uh, <laughs> sauce. Yes. And, and some peanut butter mm. um, and that I will top on uh, later on when we are cooking the sauce. A little bit of duck sauce um, and just a tiny little bit of sugar uh, to give it that satay uh, sauce taste, right? I mm. think it, re- it requires a little bit of, a little bit of sugar. sweetness. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the sweetness will come from the peanut butter. But, peanut but, but that's natural peanut butter, love, which is not sweet. <laughs> no sugar yes, in it, yeah. yeah. No and sugar. you're using the, are you using the uh, crunchy one? This is a smooth, smooth uh, peanut okay. butter. I've gotten yeah. that brand before. 
Yeah, that's so a good brand. So you need to kind of stir it up, right? Because the oil, there's, there's oil, the oil is at the top. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's not uh, separated, mm. and so actually, it is so natural that um, it doesn't have emulsifiers to hold the fat and the protein together. That or uh, it separates. Oh, so is that what it is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's really good product. But yes, there's no sugar and no salt in there, so we need to add a little bit. Just so um, I have seconds. this little. Okay, I have this little uh, uh, mix uh, um, blender. You can just drop everything in, um, apart from the lime, the lime, and uh, just the really, really, you know, juicy part of the lemongrass. You can pop that in as well. Okay, hold and on, Bibi. We'll we'll go on uh, air. I'm gonna ask you about Hotel California <laughs> because it's our number one song this year. I'll ask you whether you like. You went the song. there before, right? <laughs> 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 is that's not number one, is it? It's it number is. one. Yeah, this, this year, year. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Definitely one of the greatest hits of all time, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen, which was our greatest hit of, hit of all time a couple of years back. Two years, yeah. um, mm-hmm. This year, they are at number two on the countdown. We are recapping 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time uh, with Bibi Chia as well, our principal dietitian, who is uh, on the Big Show TV preparing her vegetarian satay <laughs> and sauce. <laughs> And sauce, <laughs> so you know you want to you want to see how she she uh, you know whips up the, the the sauce and all that. She got everything in the blender already. Uh, but before yeah. that, um, since we're about to play the number one song for this year on One FM ninety one point three's greatest hits of all time countdown, I want to ask you, BB, um, were you surprised by the Eagles Hotel California being the greatest hit of all time this year? Uh, yes, a little bit surprised. I thought the second would have been first. Uh, <laughs> but then again, I love them all. Um, it's kind of difficult to decide which uh, of those great hits uh, to be number one, I have to say. So I like them all, actually. Okay. Aww, it's a very politically correct answer, don't you think? <laughs> Funny, because I was speaking to quite a number of people over the weekend, mm. and all of them were really, really surprised that it was uh, like Hotel California. Like, I don't know, I think it was, it was, it was split. Uh. You know, definitely not uh, not as um, enthusiastically welcomed the way Guns N' Roses' Roses Sweet Roses. Child of Mine was. Okay. Mm. You know, but but better than Right Here Waiting by. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Anything's better than Right Here Waiting. <laughs> but I think with Hotel California, it's one of those songs that everyone knows, Rose, everyone yeah. loves. But then it's kind of the unexpected win. Mm. You know, it. everyone knows the words to it. Everyone sings along when they hear it. But then to say it's going to be the number one song, you're like, oh, why didn't I think of that? You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. just one of those. Yeah. Mm, but in the yeah. top 10, I have to say, there, there, were, there were no other songs that I would have picked as the greatest hit of all time. So, so I feel like out of the 10 songs, mm. right, Hotel California by the Eagles deserves to be... Absolutely, yeah, mm. absolutely, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> speaking of which, let's just play this uh, to end our recap for today. <laughs> this is the greatest hit of all time for 2021, right here on 1FM 91.3, Hotel California by the Eagles. It's one of those songs, uh, the more you listen to it, uh, the more you feel like... It's a great song. It is. It is. Yeah. It is you know? a great song. Mm. It is a great song. We'll do karaoke session. Yeah, mm. we just favorite. need a dance version of that song. I'm sure there is. <laughs> well, we'll look for it. Okay, sorry, Bibi, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yes. All right. So everything's in the blender now, um, and just gonna give it a few blitz. So it's gonna be a little bit noisy. <laughs> Bit of help. Yeah. Help. So cute, lah! The blender. Yeah. It's like a mason jar blender. I've got a Philips one that's around that size as well. Pretty good. Oh. I use it for shakes and everything. Mini smoothies. Mini smoothies. Because mm-hmm. I've got a Nutri blender as well. Oh my god, that one is too big, lah. Oh, is it very big? <laughs> it's quite big, yeah. Okay, so now we have this very, very fragrant sauce. I'm just going to use this bowl. And then <laughs> Times have changed. I see my mom used to, you know what, use the knock knock in the in the in the stone in the stone bowl. What do you call that? Pestle and motor. 
Yeah. Pestle okay. and mortar. Yes. Yeah. I've got one of those original ones. Yeah. Right. The tumbo, tumbo. They call the it tumbo. Yeah. 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 Tumbo, tumbo. Pestle and mortar. T O O M B O K. Tumbo. Tumbo. B O K. B O K. I also cannot help you. I don't know. If I use it uh, in the morning, I think my neighbors will kill me, you know. And, that'll, <laughs> and, and it'll take a lot longer than putting it in a blender. <laughs> they also want to tumbo tumbo you. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so it's nicely well blended. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, tumbo good. is punch. Eh? Tumbo, yeah. Oh. Have you put the peanut sauce in it yet? Peanut butter, not yet, right? Not, not yet. yet. Okay. So only when um, after marinating the mushroom and we put the uh, mushroom satay into the grill, then um, I would cook the leftover marinade with the peanut butter to make the sauce. So the marinade doesn't ah. have... Oh, so yeah. that's a marinade, right? Okay, so you're going to marinate the, the oh. lion's mane with that. And does the lion's mane um, s- marinate well? Does it absorb uh, flavor as well? Yes, it does. It does. It's like okay. a sponge. Ah, uh, so it's nice. very yes. Oh, it's just it's like a sponge, even without poking holes in it. <laughs> I think it naturally has a little it, bit of. Oh. It's porous. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a little bit of a sponge. I've never yeah. seen it uh, like one. a loofah. Yeah. So if you like to buy lion mane mushroom, they come dry. You can buy it uh, in one of those sensei shops, like a like a Chinese, you know, no dry way. goods store. That's where yeah. they sell lion mane mushrooms. <laughs> so, so you're saying like a what, like a TCM place? Uh, yes, uh, oh. like one of those uh, herbal stores. Like uh, I got mine from a uh, hokwa, uh, but you can also oh. get it from um, yeah. The uh, hokwa is everywhere. Hokwa. Shopping oh, yeah. centers. Oh, okay. They sell oh, really? uh, okay. cooling teas and all that. You know, mm-hmm. Oh, the ones where you see all those bottles outside and yeah, you just pick yeah. one up and right. Okay. Mm. Lion's mane. Okay. I have no idea they had lion mane. Lion's mane. Can there. I freeze it? Can I freeze the dry ones or no need? They keep for a while, right? Yeah, they keep for a while. And uh, but when we rehydrate them, you need to use uh, immediately. Um, okay. I've also used these to make like um, uh, if you mince it up, you could make chicken nuggets with them. Oh. Okay, uh, and they yeah. taste. Rendang with it, you can make mm. rendang as well. Yum. Oh yes. Mm. Okay. That's what Green Dot uses a lot of. Uh, I know. Then. I yeah. tried once. No, I had their rendang once. Good, right? Too thick, lah. No. Oh, just too once. thick. What the sauce or the, yeah, so the mushroom? So unhealthy, very unhealthy. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. The felt, natural one is healthier. Little, yeah, I think so. I might as well eat the the, the, real, the, the beef, actual one. Yeah, the yeah. beef rendang. Yeah. I so it's the sauce that's that. unhealthy. It's, it's sauce, not the yeah. lion's mane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so this is a uh, nicely done up, uh, and uh, yeah, it has so much uh, flavor in there. I'm just gonna put this aside and start to cut the lion mane mushroom. So when we make satay, um, I mean there is a uh, a rule where you have to put three pieces of meat and a piece of fat in there, right? Uh, is, is there a rule? I had no idea. <laughs> yes, when you make satay, there's yeah. three pieces of meat, and in between is one piece of fat. Chinese satay, on <laughs> Chinese satay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chinese satay. Yeah, that's they right. teach you that in satay school. <laughs> and what's the fat that they usually put? Uh, if you like, buy chicken satay, then it's chicken fat. Oh, if you buy right, pork okay, satay, okay. then it's then a pork, pork lard. Fat, right. <laughs> right, okay, okay. Oh, I love, I love it with the pineapple. So what's dip. your fat that you're using? Uh, no this fat. is a no, no fat. fat. No fat. No fat satay. No fat. Yeah. He's doing the no fun satay. That's yeah, what it is. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no fat. So I'm gonna trim off the like a little bit of the stem or the harder part of the mushroom. I'm gonna throw that away. Mm. Can you use that um, as fat? <laughs> She's like nothing comes out of it. She wants to tumbo tumbo you now. (laughs) So we're just gonna, you know, cut this up into little pieces. So this is just a demonstration, but it looks, it even looks like meat now. So um, Mm. I want to buy some. Yes. So yummy. Mm. So we're just gonna mix this in the marinade, um, um, and and maybe mix it in for about uh, ten minutes before uh, we put them into the skewer. I'm gonna show um, everybody how it looks like after it's made uh, on face uh, on Facebook on Food Tales with PB. Uh, but yes, so it's very simple. Like you imagine, this is marinated for ten minutes. It's actually it smells like satay. Can already. you eat it like that? Can you eat it raw? I don't think so. <laughs> I would recommend, but I think it might not uh, be dangerous to eat it raw. Yeah. But yes, I I wouldn't recommend. And so you're using like a satay stick where we can then weave this in um, and uh, uh, put a couple of pieces more, maybe three or four. Okay, wait, we go back on air just to say yeah. bye and then just yes. say spot. Then we carry It on. looks like yeah, meat. Then go back on. Uh, okay, here we go. Stand by. 
The Eagles Hotel California, 1FM 91.3's greatest hit of all time for 2021. And uh, with that, you know, we want to invite you guys, okay, if you if you can, if you love the song so much, to maybe uh, just film yourself singing a line or two or Ooh. maybe half the song mm-hmm. of Hotel California and then yeah, send it yeah. on our WhatsApp la. Yes. 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 Show yes. us your singing prowess. Eight eight five five zero ninety one three. How about that? Hot. And if you really, really impress us, then uh, you know we might give you something. How about that? Oh, we have a gift. Of course, we have gifts. Yeah. We have tons of gifts. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I mean, <laughs> Angel can give you something. Oh I, yes, yes. Or maybe I can give you something. Sean you can give Sean you something. Sean will give you something. Yeah, yeah sure. Well, maybe <laughs> one FM ninety one point three can give you one of uh, our many. Brand new Big Show t-shirts! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> might not be customized, but hey, you know. All right, it's so. a t-shirt nonetheless. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Like, you see, BB's t-shirt is customized for yeah, BB right. Chia. There you go. It oh, says BB. BB. There you go. <laughs> Life <Okay>. goals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, BB, uh, um, before we uh, sign off, I mean, we'll continue to watch BB Chia on the Big Show TV because she's um, about to grill the vegetarian satay. We're very, very excited vegan. about that. Vegan, vegan mm. satay, sorry, <laughs> vegan satay. Um, can you tell everyone once again how uh, they can, um, you know, see your finished product on, on, on your socials? Yep, so I'm making a vegan satay using lion mince mushroom. So lion mince has plenty of health benefits. Um, and this sauce is vegan, it's healthy. Um, and the recipe can be found on Food Tales with BB, um, as well as on my Instagram. Uh, and so hopefully to see everybody there. Um, and if you have any recipes that you'd like me to share, please feel free to message me. And I hope to show everybody on the big show. All well. right. Fabulous. Okay, in the meantime, uh, let's head to Headline News and Sports with Adrian Abraham. Okay, go ahead, BB. Okay. Grill so it. Now it looks like Oh my god. Hey, it looks like real satay. Yeah. Looks, looks like so meat, good. huh? Yeah, and and it has uh, soaked up uh, a bit of that, you know, um, aromatics as well as the sauce, and and so um, uh, it is going to be very flavorful. If people who are just going to start eating more vegetarian food, maybe this is a good recipe for them. Mm. So I'm just going to turn up the grill, and it's just about three minutes, so about one to two minutes on a high heat on both sides, and and that's it. So I'm just going to turn oh. on the grill. That's it. I'm gonna go buy some lion's mane. You need the paper plates to. Okay, BB, I'm ordering from you. Huh? Uh, twenty <laughs> twenty five sticks, please. <laughs> some ketupat and some uh, <laughs> cucumber on the side as well. Yes, yes, I have to change my job to the satay lady. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, though, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, well, I did this in the show in... Uh, uh, oh, five, that is true. Yeah, minutes. not that much work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to heat up the grill. If you don't have a grill, just uh, put it onto a pan. Um, and oh. uh, in, in it, when I was living in Australia, like satay that didn't necessarily came in a stick. Like it could be a satay stir fry and you could put yeah. uh, red pepper, green peppers in them. So it is also uh, possible to just make it in a pan if you don't want to have it on a stick because it might be a little bit messy. Actually, it's true, Asian kebab, right? When when I was a teen, uh, you know what I used to do? I used to order like 20 sticks of satay, right? Beef and chicken. And then I'll go home, I'll use the fork and I'll get everything uh, out of the plate. Off, no. right? And then make it in your rice and yeah, stuff like that, right? Yeah, then I'll just, uh, you know, smother it with, with the satay gravy and then with the cucumber, uh, I'll just eat it. <laughs> Straight off, yeah. Yeah. Well, I haven't had satay for years. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make your own. I'm gonna make my own. Like, yeah. I didn't know you could buy it from those Chinese shops. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, um, and I don't think it's uh, readily available in supermarkets, so it's not no, a very it's not. popular mm. uh, mushroom to eat. Mm. Um, and so um, I've never seen it before. You're right. So with with green dot, it kind of like reminded me, hey, there's this mushroom that we could use to make savory items as well. So um, for those who don't want to make uh, at home, you can also try their rendang. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, before we end, I think um, I'm going to show everyone how it looks yeah. like on uh, Facebook. Is Looking. that um, do not throw this marinade away? This is the base of your sauce. So after you have marinated everything in there and skewered and cooked it, um, you will add about um, in a pot. Uh, you will add about two tablespoons of peanut butter oh. and heat it up in a pot, and that becomes your satay sauce. So you don't have to make one uh, separately. Okay, okay. Mm. Two tablespoons, huh? 
Yes, that's right. So two tablespoons of this in there um, and heat it up in a pan uh, and you have a small portion uh, of uh, satay sauce. Mm. And healthy too. I mean, the, yeah. you saw all the ingredients that went in. Mm, and they smell very, very good. So it will take some time uh, to skewer up all this satay. Uh, but yes, you'll get to see it on uh, Food Tales with Bibi. <laughs> Thank you. And I Thanks think, so much, Bibi. And, and if you have any uh, recipes that I'd like to share, please uh, PM me or uh, message me on Facebook. Right. Hey, so uh, on Facebook, it's also Food Tales with Bibi, right? And on yeah. uh, Instagram, Instagram, it's also Food Tales with Bibi, right? Yes, okay. that's right. Okay. okay. Thank you Thanks, so much. Baby. Thank you, everybody. See you next Thanks. Monday. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 How about that? Wow. That was awesome. Lion's mane. Lion's, lion's mane mushrooms. Lion's mane mushrooms. I'm so hungry now. Satay. Yeah. I've never yeah. had that before. Have you ever? No, neither have I. No. No, I haven't. But I've been dying to buy lion's mane because, I mean, you can do so many things with it. You can make chicken nuggets. You can make, like, all sorts of stuff, yeah. right? But you never and knew where to meatiest. get it. And it's the meatiest. You never knew I where never to knew get where to get it. No. That's so I'm wondering. No. How come I've the never zoo. seen it at the supermarket? No, never. That's no. the first time I'm actually seeing a lion's mane True. mushroom. Mm -hmm. I know what it looks like, but I never saw it at supermarkets. But now I know it's at these, uh, it's so dry yeah. at the Chinese shops. Mm. Okay. Barn some today. Okie dokes. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's show. Share the video!